Hi, this is Mark Carlin, the results hypnotist, and welcome again to another live broadcast. Uh, what I wanted to go over real quickly today was a very simple technique that anyone can use to help you to become a non-smoker or to become anything that you want to do to help you to reach your goal. Uh, this is effective for any goal that you're looking to uh, reach. And certainly, becoming a non-smoker is one of those goals that uh, is probably really important to you. <laughs> so, uh, I'm assuming that you're smoking, uh, or that you are a smoker, not that you're smoking now. If you're smoking now, put it down. <laughs> this is a no-smoking zone right now. Uh, give you a little um, tip on how to help you to become that non-smoker. Uh, so, when we fall asleep at night, we go through different stages of relaxation, different stages of rest, different stages of consciousness. Uh, we go from a wide awake, totally conscious state to a very mellow, relaxing state uh, where we are in and out, where we're somewhat conscious and somewhat unconscious. We're in an in-between state. Uh, that in-between state is very, very similar to the hypnotic trance experience. And after being in this in and out state of consciousness, we then go to a very deep level of unconsciousness. Uh, during that time, that is total deep sleep. That is uh, the, the, the the, the kind of sleep that uh, we're looking to accomplish during the night. Um, studies have shown we don't really stay in this very deep state of sleep uh, throughout the whole, as many hours as we sleep. We kind of fluctuate, we kind of, what we, we kind of porpoise, you know, we, we go in and out, up and down. <laughs> uh, and we're, we're really not, uh, a really good restful sleep doesn't include going so far up in that uh, level of um, unconsciousness that we reach consciousness again where we're, where where we are awake you know we, we we tend to stay asleep if we have a good restful sleep so knowing that during this process of before we go to sleep we can actually set in motion uh, a um, instructions for our subconscious mind to generate images for us known as dreams uh, and these dreams can help support our intentions what we want to do they can help support our intentions towards reaching our goals so it would be a, a if you're looking to stop smoking and I assume that you are uh, it's a very helpful thing for you to uh, prepare yourself for sleep and to take full advantage of that uh, that ability for you to um, use that your imagination in sleep, use your dreams to help you reach your goal. And in this case, as a, as someone looking to stop smoking, I would suggest to you that before you go to sleep at night, start thinking about what you'd like to accomplish as a non-smoker, the things you would like to have in your life as a result of being a non-smoker. Imagine yourself, if you can, seeing yourself being a non-smoker. Imagine how you would look. Imagine the things that you would be doing. Imagine the things that you'd be seeing. Imagining the things that you'd be hearing, you'd be smelling, you'd be tasting. Imagine how you would feel and keep cycling through these images in your imagination and start to connect to feelings of how all of those things feel for you, having these things. And then as you drift off to sleep, you've now programmed your mind to follow through on continuing that cycling through those images 
And uh, during that, during your sleep process, you will cycle through those images. I don't know if you're going to cycle through them for the whole time that you're sleeping or just for a short time. Only you'll know. And as you do this more often, every night going to sleep, you'll find that this is a very effective way for you to start building the motivation, building the desire, building the level of comfort, knowing that you can be a non-smoker. And this is a, a very simple way to help you as you go to sleep every night. So I hope you uh, practice this, do this. Uh, this is just a, um, a very simple little technique uh, that's very effective, very effective for a lot of goal uh, reaching, goal getting um, uh, exercises. It's a very effective exercise for that. Uh, what I'd like to do is, uh, this is a, a fifth in a series, I'd like to continue to make these little, um, these little recordings. Uh, so if you appreciate this uh, or if you, you're here and you're enjoying it, you want to share it with others that you might know that uh, uh, could use this help to help them stop smoking, uh, just share it on, on uh, Facebook. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, react to it in some way, put in a, a comment in the Facebook, put in a comment uh, um, on, on uh, YouTube, uh, like, uh, react to it in some way. Uh, those are all very helpful to get this information out to help other people, to help yourself as well. Uh, I look forward to doing more of these things. Um, if you'd like to get some help with your stop smoking, you can reach me at area code 212-223-1832. I offer my, um, my services, uh, consulting hypnotist, uh, online as well as in my office on in uh, the Midtown East section of Manhattan, New York City. And uh, the first step is for you to contact me. Uh, that shows that there's uh, initiative on your end, that there is a desire for you to quit smoking. Just give a call. We'll have a little strategy session to see whether we're a good fit, whether we can work together, and whether you can be helped by my approach to helping you to stop smoking. Once again, my name is Mark Carlin, 212-223-1832. Uh, I look forward to more of these recordings and have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Take care.